All right, everyone, we are back where we left off last time in Alan Wake 2 with this big bloated Nikki guy. <laughs> so we're going to try and finish this and get out of here. It's creepy. Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. I hate this part. Sheriff? It's creepy. That's a keyword. Creepy. No! Oh, man. Oh. This just isn't right. Oh. That's just not right. That's not what he said. He's coming. Yeah. No. Get in the light. Get in the light. Yes. Get in the light. Oh. Where'd he go? He's so creepy. I gotta wait till he, go he goes by. I'm heading for that exit right there. There he goes. All right. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Gotta move now. Oh, uh, tell me it's my gun. Oh. Oh, that was the end of the chapter? Oh, I'm shaking right now. Literally, that scared the heck out of me. All right, let's keep going. He didn't have a heart, but he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh, oh. He, he just disappeared? Yeah. What the hell is going on here? We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Somehow we need to make sense of this. Let's have a look around. There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. There's one of the pages on the floor. Look around for clues, okay. There's a page right there, yeah? 
Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. He was there too. Nightingale was, but wasn't to taken a creature of darkness. He was beyond her reach, where some other strange reality, the Dark Place, merged with ours. This place and the Dark Place, a tarp thrown over top, drowning everything beneath it, a flood of darkness, soaking into everything, spoiling it, rotting it. The page called this area an overlap. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult, required precise steps, a ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster before he killed again. Her job, he'd be inside, waiting for her. The overlap? I mean, that Nightingale dude needs some draws to overlap his body, because I'm tired of him running around naked. <laughs> this is, we're, we're just like living a story. We're, he's writing a book. That's what it is. I know what's going on here. Can't fool me, Alan Wake. Uh, what do we need? We need to find... Talk to someone, okay. Uh, figure out where Nightingale went. No, I don't wanna! I don't want to! Okay. Let's see. We gotta figure out another case here. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for, really. Case board. Clues. Where's that gonna go? There, We're okay. dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. I need to know more about the code of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. Think.
that's not right. Doesn't look right. Sure. All right, now we got all those plays finally. <laughs> Let's look around. The heart is gone too. Did the fucker take it with him? Where's my flashlight? There we go. Can't be opened on this side. It's not opening. I think I've covered just about everything here. Go back and look at the case again. 
One more time. Goals is to what now? Figure out where Nightingale went. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? This was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a murder. They were telling the truth. A dead man turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future? There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. think that is what we needed to do yep the page places nightingale back at cauldron lake calls him a taken we need to head over there stop him before anyone else gets hurt okay we we heard gunshots y'all okay did you get spooked by the bodies Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster, and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. We'll do what we can, man. That's crazy, right, Thornton? Nightingale's heart was missing. How could he do anything? Take a quick look around. I am a tourist, and it appears. Oh dear, I am a tourist, and it appears that I'm lost in the woods. If only had a tour guide, also, bear season. <laughs> It's 
somebody called for a tour guide. Oh, wow. Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours. Unforgettable tour experiences at affordable prices. That's right. I'm Ilmo Koskala, voted best coffee roaster slash tour guide by Coffee World magazine. And I'm here to give you the tour of a lifetime. But Ilmo, <laughs> I've heard the government has seized and restricted access to many local nature attractions. That is true, Yanko. Many local attractions have recently become fenced off by the government. And that's why at Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours, we say, fuck the government. We have bolt cutters. Oh, wow. You think of everything. And we'll take you anywhere. Hiking through the scenic Elderwood National Park. Fishing in the crystal clear waters of Bright Falls Dam. Bird watching at Majestic Mirror Peak. The tour of a lifetime is just one phone call away. Book now to get a 9% discount on this limited edition Oh Dear Diner Coffee Thermal. <laughs> that was amazing. I love the commercial. I love the props they have. Let's make a keyword props. I like the bird prop and the bear prop. Those are awesome. All right, how long we got here? We're going to end this soon. Yeah, we're at 20 minutes. But before we get to Cauldron Lake, we're going to look around a little bit more here. Find maybe some more cool commercials or the like. Oh, there's Django. And my little puppy's awake. He's needing some attention. <laughs> Yes, I hear you, Django. <laughs> oh, something over here. What is this? Oh boy, he's just loud today. He is getting used to his new home, though. He absolutely loves having a home. He's just so content. He doesn't sound that right now, but <laughs> he's made this place his domain. So, all right, let's look around a little bit more, and then we will end the uh, video. Boy, why do we got that that nightingale taken care of? I was tired of looking at that naked dude. Wasn't it um, Tim Allen who wrote a book, Don't Stand Next to a Naked Guy or something? <laughs> don't Stand Too Close to a Naked Guy? Yeah, I don't want to stand... No, no thank you. I will... I'm fine, you know. A good distance away. I'm good. I don't see anything else here that we can utilize. Nothing much we can confiscate. We got to go back to Cauldron Lake. We're going to do that in the next video. Let me have a look at these computers. My client's been held here long enough. Are you going to let me speak to them or not? Got a map of the sheriff station. Map. Someone will be right with you. Not me. I'm busy. What do we have here? Uh, kill the Joe. Make some mo. Okay. Uh, regarding your not your personal assistant this guy's just mean not your personal assistant not your personal assistant uh, excuse me Django I'm not your personal assistant well I guess I am he needs he needs me he's such a good little pup he lets you know it too and he bites he drew blood on me yesterday he's just got some sharp little teeth Okay, I don't think there's anything else here that we can find. Uh -huh, let's see. Look at all these little nooks and crannies at the place. Alright. Oh, 
Oh, what's this? I just saw something here. Oh, it's the door. Oh, right here. Uh, I can't read it. <laughs> they leave notes around about complaining about stuff. <laughs> Check in here really quick. How many times do we have to do this, Walter? Huh? I'm at my wits end with you. I want out! Yeah, Walter. That's going down. I can feel it. Let me <laughs> out. I don't blame him. Yes, Django. Coming. He's like, get me out of here. I'm awake. I need your attention. It doesn't budge. Okay. All right, everyone. I think we're gonna end the video here. As you've heard, Django is uh, impatient, and we're at the front door, so we're gonna let's just go outside. Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? The smart choice, Anderson. Yeah, a Agent Casey here. Yeah. We need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare. ASAP. Think we'll actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. Marisetta won't roll over on the issues. <sighs> Rinse and repeat. Clock out, get a beer. Or maybe still eat. Alright, we're at the car. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next video.